Hey you guys, so it's X Crazy Nails and today I'm going to be showing you a 10 step at home manicure. Now this is just what I basically do whenever I'm giving myself a manicure. So I'm going to show you all the steps, everything that I use and um, it's a great way to grow out your nails, clean your nails and just keep your hands really really soft. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and get um, some type of nail cleanser like it whitens or brightens your nails and the perfect product is bubble white and this is what I use and it's a nail cleanser and it just brightens brightens and whitens your nails so I'm going to show you how to use that you just want to get a glass bowl and you want to get about a half a cup of warm water and then you want to go ahead and pour the package inside of the water And as you can see, it fizzes up and then you just want to stick your hands in there for about five minutes. Okay, so it's been about five minutes, so you want to go ahead and take them out and just dry them with a small paper towel. Okay, so then you want to get a large bowl to where both of your hands can fit inside of the bowl. You want to fill it up with enough water to where it covers your hands. You want warm water and you want to put some sort of soap in it. It can be any hand soap and also put some form of bath salt in it. Um, it can be any kind, whichever one you prefer, and just pour about um, two tablespoons worth. Then you want to get a nail brush and just clean away all of your um, cuticles and under your nails so you can get all of that dirt that's in there. And then you want to just soak your nails for at least five minutes. Now that your hands have been sitting here for five minutes, you want to go ahead and take them out. And now you want to put on some type of hand scrub to take off any dead skin that you have on your hands and to make them really soft. Now, my boyfriend bought me this from a Lush store, and it's a hand putty that takes off all dead skin. Or you can use any type of, like, hand scrub. Um, you can usually get this at, like, Walmart, a dollar store. They even sell it. So you want to take off, you want to take off all the dead skin in your, um, on your hands. Okay, so once you've done that, you washed your hands with the scrub that you have. I did two scrubs. You saw that I put two scrubs on there, but you can do whichever one you like. Then you want to go ahead and get your nail brush and then just brush between your nails so you can get out any type of uh, nail scrub that you put on your hands and they can make them um, even more clean your nails, okay? Okay, so now that I've dried my hands, you want to go ahead and get your file and then start shaping your nails the way you want them. Once you've filed your nails to your desired length, you want to get um, some instant cuticle remover and remove all of your cuticles. Um, the brand that I'm using is by Sally Hansen and it's the ma maximum strength. And also you want to have a cuticle pusher so you can push back your cuticles. removed all of your cuticles you can go ahead and get your buffer and begin to buff out your nails so your nails can be really smooth. Once you've buffed out your nails you can go ahead and put some cuticle oil um, around your nail bed so they can um, moisten and strengthen your nails. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and put lotion onto your hands. Um, you can use just regular hand lotion or like me, I like to use this body butter. And it's a shimmer body butter and it just makes your hands really sparkly and really pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to get some alcohol and get my cotton ball and I'm going, I'm going to clean around my nails just to remove any oil that um, has gotten into my nails and that's from the uh, body butter and the cuticle oil. So I'm just going to clean my nails. So for the last step, I'm going to put some nail growth formula onto my nails. Now you don't have to put the um, formula on your nails. You can go ahead and paint your nails like you normally would. 
and this would be your last step. I usually I like to put the growth formula because um, it just helps to um, for my nails to grow. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on.